Worksheet 4, question 1. Which change takes place when an atom becomes a positive ion? So you must remember, positive ion are metals. Okay, group 1 will form plus, group 2 will form 2 plus, group 3 will form 3 plus. So how do metals form, uh, become positive ions? They will lose electrons. If you don't know, you can take an example. Example, lithium. Lithium has 3 electrons, 2.1. So, to have a completely filled valence shell, it will lose one electron. So, that's where it becomes positive. So, it is the loss of electron. So, A is wrong, B is correct, C is wrong, D is wrong. It only has to do with electron losing. So, the answer is A. Okay, um, worksheet 4, question 2. Hydrogen can form both ionic and covalent compounds. Which element will hydrogen react with to form an ionic compound? So ionic compound is metal and non-metal. Okay, so what is hydrogen? Hydrogen is a non-metal. So if hydrogen is a non-metal, you need a metal to form ionic compound. So only option D, sodium, is a metal. You can refer to your periodic table. Worksheet 4, question 3, they say covalent bond. So covalent bond is between non-metal and non-metal. Then is it transfer or sharing? It is sharing. So you must remember covalent bond is non-metals sharing of electrons. So 1 is wrong, 2 is correct. 3 is wrong, 4 is correct. So if it's only 2 and 4, then the answer is D. Okay, next one, question 4, it says covalent compound. So covalent compound will have low melting and boiling point and it cannot conduct electricity. So if you look at option A and B, both have low melting and boiling point. Then you check option B, Cannot contact electricity in any state. So the answer is B. Okay, question 5. Ion with a negative charge. So negative charge means it is a non-metal. Okay, group 5 is 3 minus. Group 6 is 2 minus. Group 7 is minus. So based on the electronic structure, you can also guess which group is it in. So... If it ends with one valence electron, it's in group 1. So we have group 1, group 2, group 7, and group 0. Group 0 is a non-metal, but it is a noble gas. It will not form an ion because it is unreactive. So group 7, if you see, is a non-metal from the periodic table. 2.8.7 to become ion will become 2.8.8. .8. So, because it gains one electron, electron is negative charge. Okay, so if you want to check, option A and B, group 1 and group 2, both are metals. So, our answer is C, because it is a non-metal. Okay, question 6. Hydrogen and chlorine. Hydrogen and chlorine are both non-metals. So they will share electrons. Okay, only electrons are being shared. B is wrong because it's proton. C is also proton. D is a transfer. Transfer is for ionic. Okay, so answer is A. Okay, question 6. They ask you to draw hydrogen fluoride. HF. So hydrogen has one electron, fluorine has nine electrons. They say to show only the outer shell. So first we draw one hydrogen, one electron for hydrogen. Fluorine is 2.7, so we must use crosses, 1.1 one one cross. So we only draw the valence shell, which is the seven electrons. So now if you see, we have one lonely cross and one lonely dot. So that means we can simply draw one hydrogen atom and one fluorine atom. Hydrogen and fluorine both are non-metals. 
So if it's not metals, you must draw sharing of electrons. Which means they must overlap. So hydrogen, we draw the lonely dot. Fluorine, we draw the lonely cross. Then we draw in the pairs of crosses at the side. So you can see that the valence shell is completely filled. Okay, for part B, it says, show the structure of a chloride ion. So now they only want the chloride ion. So you can look at the periodic table. They never say show the valence shell only, so you must draw all the electrons. So we draw 2.8.7. Here we are using crosses. Top, bottom, left, right. So because we need to gain one electron to completely fill, you draw the gain one with a dot bracket and then you put a charge minus. Okay, then we have uh, magnesium react with oxygen. So magnesium and oxygen is a metal and non-metal, we must draw ions. So magnesium, if you refer to the periodic table, it has 12 electrons. So we draw 2.8.2. Oxygen, we must draw dots because one cross one dot. So oxygen has eight electrons, two dot six. Okay, you must draw all the shells because they never say show the villain shell only. So now we know it's metal and non metal, we know it's ionic compound, so you must draw ions. Ions means it's a transfer of electron. So what happened is they transfer the electron over. So now you draw. The answer now you draw will be magnesium 2.8 only because it already lost the two electrons, so 2.8. Then you must put your bracket and then it's metal, so 2 plus, group 2 is 2 plus. Oxygen you draw 2.6 with the added two crosses. Make sure you draw the added two with a cross. You put down a bracket. And you put 2 minus, group 6 will be 2 minus. Okay, so what is the name given to this type of bonding? If you draw ions, metal and non metal is ionic bonding. Okay, part C, write the formula of magnesium oxide. Since you drew 1 Mg and 1 O, it's simply MgO. If not, you can look at the periodic table. Mg is 2 plus, O is 2 minus. Charges are balanced. So because of that, you also get MgO. So that's the chemical formula of magnesium oxide. Okay, part D. Magnesium oxide is an ionic compound. They ask you for a physical property. So one of the possibilities is high melting and boiling point. You must write the whole thing. High melting and boiling point. Okay, now final one, question 8. Aluminium, refer to the periodic table first. Number on top is 27, number at the bottom is 13. So, proton number is number at the bottom, so it's 13. Number of electrons, you check the sign, it says 3 plus. 3 plus means it lost 3 electrons. So, 13 minus 3 equals to 10 electrons. Must always be completely filled. So, 10 electrons will give you 2.8. Okay, then we look at oxygen. Oxygen, the top number is 16, so nucleon number is 16. It says 2 minus. 2 minus means it gained 2 electrons, so 8 plus 2 equals to 10. So 10 electrons also give you a completely filled valence.